ರೇಪ್ ಏನ್ ಅದ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಬೇರೆ ವಿಚಾರ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಿಮಗೆ ಓನ್ಲಿ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ Thousands of APVP activists gathered today at the Freedom Park demanding justice for the six-year-old rape victim. is the kind of gelato that was witnessed uh, in uh, Freedom Park where thousands gathered. Remember, APVP activists have in fact staged protests outside Vibgyar School as well uh, in the past. They ventured that they mounted the pressure on the police as well as the government and now once again uh, students uh, from all specters, both women as well as men coming together, raising slogans and even clashing with the police. Several of them were also taken into custody. even as uh, the ABVP uh, activists had sent out a deadline of sorts to Vibgyar High Management where they had uh, uh, stated, of course, that whoever is responsible will be brought to book, besides which they also put forth four demands, uh, the deadline for which ends uh, on 27th July. But meanwhile, uh, the ABVP activists have made it very clear that they will not stop their protests. They've continued protesting, this time not just against the school, but also uh, against the police and the government for not... Uh, taking action as soon as the incident came to light. Of course, now we do know that uh, uh, the Vibgyar High uh, Chairman as well as founder uh, Rustam Keravala has been taken into custody. But these activists want a lot more action to be taken. They want many more arrests uh, as well as more guidelines to be set across for different schools across the city.
Well, earlier, in fact, my colleague Bansi Kalapa was present at Freedom Park. He takes us through exactly what took place. A massive group of ABVP protesters are out here. This is a face-off between the protesters and the police. The protesters seeking that Bengaluru be made safer. They are making allegations against the government's failure regarding curtailing the incidents of rape. And here they are protesting. Huge numbers of ABUP protesters. They have come in all the way from Freedom Park down here. And in a face-off, all the protesters, they are blocked by police. A huge wall of policemen on the other side. Now they cannot proceed beyond that point. So this is a kind of a standoff between the police and the protesters. What we see here is that protesters challenging the, the police on this issue of rape. But can these protests really bring down the incidents of rape is a big question. Yes, of course, we have seen very similar incidents in Delhi, where soon after the nearby incident, there was this huge uh, number of protests seeking an end to rape. But rapes have continued. Do we need more than this is a big question, or are protests alone enough? With camera person Basuraj, this is Bansi, the News 9. Uh, in fact, soon after that, the protesters uh, were seen going ahead and clashing with the police. Uh, they made their way uh, up to a certain point where, in fact, uh, the police had put up barricades and were standing in huge numbers. However, things uh, soon calmed down with the police also going ahead and making a few arrests. A lot of girls uh, were also present. But meanwhile, uh, even after uh, the Mount Carmel College uh, students, another college has now taken out a protest in support of the six-year-old victim. Hundreds of students went on a march demanding justice for the little victim. This was a scene that was witnessed just yesterday when Mount Carmel students had taken to the streets with messages stating that they want better safety and security for women across the city. And uh, now, of course, yet another college coming out in huge numbers, some of them trying to ensure that the chief minister wakes up, that the government starts realizing uh, what is taking place across the city and uh, this time around it wasn't just girls but boys as well who uh, in fact put down their books to ensure that they sent across a strong message to society and to the government. And uh, even as, of course, uh, the protests uh, continue, the cops uh, are now investigating the case in full force. Uh, they have uh, seen also been arresting uh, the founder chairman, Rustam Kerawala. But, uh, of course, uh, is that the end of uh, the issues? Uh, no doubt the students are making it very clear that until justice is delivered, until all those accused in this case are, are arrested, they will not stop protesting. In fact, uh, some big news coming in. Parents and school management's meeting has now been cancelled. It uh, has been cancelled after Rustam Kerawala was taken into custody. Remember, Rustam is the founder chairman of Vibhyur High. He was traced back to Daman and taken into custody by the police. And now the school management as well as the parents' meeting has been cancelled. Remember, a number of parents had come together at Vibhyur High for that particular meeting. They had a list of demands they wanted to put across to the school management but seeing the drastic turn of events seeing that the founder chairman has been taken into custody the meeting has been cancelled in all likelihood because the school management cannot go ahead with that particular meeting with uh, their top head with the founder chairman being behind bars so we will have to wait and watch to see if uh, this particular meeting will be rescheduled but as of now it has been cancelled after several delays of course it was expected to take place some time back but now uh, the meeting has been been cancelled after Rustam Kerewala was taken into custody by the police. So the school management backing out as of now. The parents no doubt will be disappointed considering they were hoping they would be able to address their grievances in this all important meet. But uh, now it looks like with the arrest of Rustam Kerewala, the school management is in shambles and they don't know exactly who will head them during these troubled times and who will go ahead and preside over that particular meeting which is probably why it got cancelled so we will of course have to wait and watch to see if the meeting will take place later on in the week remember the school is all set to open on Monday so they will be hoping that before that they can go ahead and meet with the school management
My colleague uh, Deepak uh, joins us over the phone lines uh, with more details. Uh, Deepak, over to you. You have been tracking exactly what's been taking place at Vibkyor High. We understand that the meeting has now been cancelled. Uh, yes, actually, the meeting which was supposed to be scheduled at 11 o'clock. Now, the parents are all gathered here, about 20 to 25 parents are gathered here uh, to meet uh, the management at about 11 o'clock. Now, however, this meeting was called off because the arrest was made uh, in uh, view of Ramun of Rustam Kerawala. Now, uh, immediately, some of the parents were informed that 2 o'clock the management would be arriving and actually meeting these uh, parents. Now, however, now, uh, with the latest information that we have, is the management would not be coming here because of the arrest and they will not be able to meet the parents today. Now, however, the parents are still around this place. They have not left the place. They're also expecting a few more parents from other schools to come and meet these parents. Now, the BEO, the uh, Block Educational Officer, he was inside. He has just come out, uh, Now, we'll have to go and meet him and talk to him regarding what are the talks held uh, as per uh, his uh, uh, report and what, whatever uh, investigation he is being conducting inside. So, we'll have to speak to him, uh, Siddhar. So, we will be bringing you the latest on that as well. The BO has just come out of the school as well, the latest from here. Right, uh, Deepak, do we know if the meeting has been rescheduled to take place later on in the week? Uh, the management as of now is uh, probably not in a position to answer that exactly, but uh, the, the parents are pressurizing that the meeting be held tomorrow or probably later in the day. That's what the parents are forcing the management here. Uh, but it doesn't look like any time soon that the management would be meeting them because uh, they will be uh, looking, at the, uh, looking at the fact that uh, the main uh, chairman of the system has been arrested. But the parents, however, want to have this meeting as soon as they possibly can as well. Right, uh, Deepak, thank you so much for joining us with all those details. But uh, of course, uh, it looks like the school management is now in disarray as well. Well, we understand that the parents are now demanding that the meeting take place either later on in the day or tomorrow itself because they have several issues that they want addressed. We understand that the block education officer is also present there. He has just walked out of uh, uh, the building. So, of course, the parents will be hoping that they can get more details on exactly when the next meeting will take place from him. We understand that the school management has uh, no answers because Rustam Kerewala has been taken into custody the management in all likelihood will try to push for uh, that meeting not to take place until they know exactly who will preside over uh, everything that's taking place over the meeting as well but uh, as of now of course uh, the BEO is present there and uh, we will be awaiting more details on exactly uh, uh, what will happen now will there be a meeting or will they not And, uh, well, of course, uh, we understand that uh, as of now, the parents are talking to uh, the school uh, management, uh, even as uh, they are stating that the meeting will not take place today. There is a block education officer also present. Uh, and uh, even as more parents are coming in, they are refusing to leave, stating that they've come together for a purpose, and that is to ensure that security is provided. Remember, school will be opening next week on Monday. So they want to ensure that before that, they have, uh, as many uh, as many uh, provisions made for security that all their demands are met